Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create five different text animations in After Effects. Let's get started. I will be using 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second composition for each example. The font will use Poppins bold with size of 150 pixels that has central text paragraph. Now in the first example, there is no animation, so let's go ahead and create one. First expand the properties of the text, click the animate button and select position. Then you will see the add button appear, click on it, go to property and select opacity. Now to bring the text down, we're going to increase the second position value to like 150 and then we're going to set opacity to 0%. Let's expand a range selector, make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for offset by clicking the stopwatch and set it to negative 100%. Move one second forward and set it to a positive 100%. In the advanced settings, set shape to ramp up, then set ease high to 25% and ease low to 100%. Let's check the preview. Now we have a very smooth and elegant text reveal. Let's move to the second example. We're going to open and expand the dropdown of the text. Click the Animate button and select Position. Click the Add button, then Property, then Opacity, and again click the Add button, then Property, then Tracking. Now we're going to bring the text down once again. So set Position to 150 that we used previously, and before we use Opacity, decrease the tracking amount to crunch the letters together like that so it will be minus 80. Then set opacity to 0%. Again, make sure you are at the start of the timeline. In the range selector one, create a keyframe for start. Move to one second and set it to 100%. Now drag and select these keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. While the keyframes are selected, we're going to open the graph editor. Here I'm using speed graph. Select any point, then you will see the yellow handles. I'm going to drag both of them all the way in, then exit the graph editor. And here we have a very snappy animation compared to the smooth that we created previously. Now let's jump over to the third example. Again, expand the settings, click the animate button, and this time I'm going to select blur. Then click the add button and set property to opacity. Now before we use any opacity, let's increase the blur until we cannot tell what the word says. Set it to 150, then set opacity to 0%. Again, at the start of the timeline, we're going to expand range selector one and create a keyframe for offset. Set it to negative 100. Go one second forward and set it to positive 100. Expand advanced settings. Again, set the shape to ramp up and for the ease high, leave it as 0% and ease low, set it to negative 50%. Now you can see we have a simple blur animation. But if we enable randomize order, this will give us kind of a cinematic type of animation. Let's head over to the fourth example. Again, expand this, click the animate button. I'm going to add scale, then add button, then property, then opacity. I'm going to set scale to 0% and opacity to 0%. Then expand the range selector one, create a keyframe for offset and set it to negative 100%, go to one second, and set it to a positive 100%. Expand advanced settings, set shape back to ramp up. Now set ease low to 100 and ease high to 25. Here we have a very smooth scale animation, which you would see a lot in motion graphics type of work. To the fifth example. For this, once again, expand this. Click the animate button. We're going to select tracking, then add button, Set property to opacity. Before we use any opacity, let's decrease the tracking amount to crunch letters once again. So negative 80, then set the opacity to zero. Expand range selector one and create a keyframe for start at 0%. Let's move one second forward, set it to 100. Drag and select the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor and do the same thing pulling these handles all the way in. Now exit the graph editor, and let's preview this so this way the letters animate from the left. It looks like they were stuck together, and they are quickly expanding. 
So one important tip here is you could add motion blur if you would like the text animation to be even smoother. Click on the toggle switch of slash modes to see the motion blur option. So here if we enable motion blur, you can see that the whole animation will be a lot smoother. Now I'm going to go back and add motion blur to every example and we can preview them again. So this is the first one and enable motion blur. If you don't see this column, click toggle switches on modes until you do and you'll see the motion blur. So check this one, make sure this one is also blue. So you can see the motion blur. This is the first one, the motion blur. The second one. Third, well, to the blur, you can't really apply motion blur. Let's go to the fourth one, enable motion blur. And here is the last one, so using motion blur is completely up to you. If you want to download project files or any of the assets used to creating this video, you can find the link in the description below. Scan this QR code to connect with Novella Film Academy. Learn video editing, graphic design, or get professional editing services, and that's it. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Novella Film Academy for more such videos.